about time for another coach life. First and foremost, I'm sending you the best day. I'm talking about best day ever, but the best, best, best day ever. I'm sending you whatever your truest self is, your most authentic you, not the one that has to tiptoe around and be all nice to everybody and people please. I'm talking about the you, you, you know, full range of emotion, you. I'm sending you that kind of best day ever. That's how I'm feeling today. You heard? So, first and foremost, you know and I me, mean? however you, however you interpret it, you see, people forget how you start often determines how you finish. That's why the power of perspective. It's so profound. A lot of P's there. P -p 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 Pushing P. You ever think about history or your past as a living, breathing organism? You ever think about, I mean, just as alive as your present is, right? You could, I could choose to go ahead and just walk into another building and pretend I work there and everybody look at me crazy and then just start a whole nother life off of that. That's how malleable, that's how dynamic the present is. You ever think about history and your past as that malleable? Because it is. Just as much as you can change the future with your perspective, what you're aimed at and what your vision is, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the Universal Launch Kit videos from six years ago. Your future and your past and your present. Just as ma just as malleable as your present and your future is, so too is your past, depending on how you look at it. You see? So the reason why I'm telling you all of this is A, because I want to wish you the best day ever. And you got to be aligned. You got to start it. How you wanna finish it. But the reason I'm, I'm telling you this also is because yesterday I was outside just aligning with the energy of the city. You know, where I live, it's right across the water. So I, I see Manhattan, it, you know, I could swim it if I was interested in getting tetanus I don't know what is in that water. No disrespect. But no disrespect water. <laughs> but I was just realizing, oh, this must have been where people uh, fish. Or it's it's just a lot of water. There's two bodies of water, actually. I live in Greenpoint. The Pulaski Bridge is there. It's a drawbridge. A lot of people don't know that. The Pulaski is a drawbridge. Uh, it goes up. I get caught on the bridge quite often. A big boat has to go through. It's also that waste treatment plant. And so, you know, recycling and whatever else they're dealing with has to pass through. Some of the ships are taller and they need to raise the drawbridge so that they can get through. And I get caught. I've been caught uh, by the bridge a dozen times. So it's active. That's water. So it just... And there's a lot of birds and seagulls, and I haven't seen fish hawks yet, but the point of the story is there is this energy there of people fishing or at least being on the water in some kind of mar aquatic mariner life. And when I was out there, I was just feeling the energy and I was thinking about my next work because I, obviously I have Wings of Red coming out in December, but I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna stay kind of with this theme because it makes sense for me. And I was like, I gotta tell my story. You know, I was born in a bathroom. I don't think too many people know that. Like I was legit, most people were born in a hospital or I was born in a bathroom. Like my mother had me by herself. And I was thinking about the power of transformation and how if I told that story any day other than today or yesterday today it would have been kind of uh, the adversity of growing up and how hard we had it in the crack era and all of that but the way I was seeing it 
today, yesterday, was this is a, a mag, a amazing adventure. And it was full of joy and loving, amazing mentors. I, I, Uncle Butch was had a purple heart. He was a Navy SEAL. He won the Connecticut State Golf Tournament as a black man in 1959, 58. Bruh. Nana was the first black nurse at Hartford Hospital. You talk about, don't even think about first. Think about just being the only. Bruh. Bear Paw land on at Martha's Vineyard in, in 70, built his house by himself, slept in a tent with his with his wife Bobby as he's building his house. Humble all of all of them humble as pie, tough as nails. Like you can't even my mother, she was just like this radiant. Everybody felt like they could be themselves around these folks. So I just was raised by some I could I could tell the story of oh and my father amazing dude man had to go through so much and his strength and agility and speed he was one of the fastest dudes in Connecticut like sprinting and he you know my uh, uh, my aunt Rocky my uh, aunt Muffin even Megan like all of them are just magical people so I could interpret my past as woe is me the '80s crack you know, shelters, all of that stuff. Or I can look at it as the adventure that it was. Like, I'm a kid. I was having a great time. I felt safe, except for a few months. And uh, it was it was, it was, was a wonderful adventure. So I could choose how to, and once I, once I focused my lens on wonderful adventure, it all started to unpack in this beautiful way. And I started to realize, okay, my perspective is just as powerful an agent of change on the past as it is the present. And that might be not earth shattering groundbreaking to some of us, but I, I wanna offer that as we move forward today. Are you carrying a story of your past that's holding you back? Is it worth even an attempt at reinterpreting it, looking at it from a different perspective, a bird's eye view? with a different intention. Where is the wonderful adventure for me? Where is the, you know, maybe that'll yield some diamonds. J -j -j baby, diamonds and pearls. It's good. <laughs> All right, it's a kind of silly coach life, but I just wanted to wish you the best day ever, give you a tool to uh, reflect. Ciao.